Hello, my name is Arush Goyal. Today I'll be sharing my experience with Benjamin Franklin's decision-making process and how I applied it to a significant decision in my life, which is whether or not I should get a dog. This decision is important to me because I've always loved the idea for having a dog for a companionship, but I also realized that the responsibility and commitment entails is a lot. Another reason this decision is important is because my brother recently went to college and now the house is very quiet and a dog seems like a good way to liven up feelings and the energy at my house. The decision was very tough. And at one hand, a dog could provide so many positives like companionship, emotional support, and even health benefits. But on the other hand, I know that it's not all sunshine and tail wax. A dog requires time, money, and patience. After tallying all the points of pros and cons on the table, pros did come out on top with a greater importance and probability resulting in a greater weight. The table backed the dog, the decision to get a dog. The process forced me to think critically about every aspect, including things I hadn't considered before. I was very surprised by the outcome because I thought that statistically, the drawbacks of getting a dog would come out on top. I had assumed that the practical challenges like the financial strain, time commitment, and disruptions to my routine would outweigh the emotional and personal benefits. However, as I walked through the pros and cons, I realized just how much value and weight that is placed on companionship and bonding that dogs provide. The process did agree with what my heart felt, but that was not the only conclusion that I got from the statistical analysis that the table provided. It gave me insight into how I approach choices in general. I realized that I often rely on emotion, letting my heart lead the way. This time, the data acted like a wise friend, telling me to act slow and thoroughly think through the thought, to, through the reasons. The outcome of this table makes me feel mixed emotions and caution towards the decision. Though I'm excited that the pros came out ahead because it aligned with what I hoped for, I'm also a little nervous because the reality check that I might get that a dog will cause, that getting a dog will cause. In conclusion, from the table, I realized that I tend to idealize decisions, focusing on the positives without fully addressing the challenges. Franklin's method forced me to confront both sides equally and weigh each viewpoint, which gave me an eye-opening experience. I now see how this valuable tool is and will continue to use this, how valuable this tool is and how it will continue and how I'll continue to use this method in decision making as I grow up. In a world where we're now constantly bombarded by opinions and emotions, this method gives us a structured way to make decision division with clarity and confidence. It is beneficial and as it doesn't completely em eliminate emotional aspect, but also helps to balance it with logic.